Plasma cells, also called plasma B cells, are white blood cells that originate in the bone marrow and secrete large quantities of proteins called antibodies. An antibody, also known as an immunoglobulin, is a protein produced mainly by plasma cells that is used by the immune system to neutralize pathogens such as pathogenic bacteria and viruses. Multiple myeloma, also known as plasma cell myeloma, is a cancer of plasma cells. Multiple myeloma is not a common cancer, but it is the second most common blood cancer diagnosis, after non-Hodgkin lymphoma, in the United States. This year, an estimated 32,270 adults in the United States alone will be diagnosed with multiple myeloma. It is estimated that 12,830 deaths from this disease will occur this year. The abnormal plasma cells in multiple myeloma, produce abnormal antibodies, which may result in a weakened immune system and cause other bone or kidney problems. Major symptoms of multiple myeloma are pain, pathologic fracture, hypercalcemia, recurrent infections, symptoms due to hyperviscosity syndrome and renal insufficiency. Multiple myeloma is considered treatable, but generally incurable. Remissions may be brought about with steroids, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and stem cell transplant. On March 2, 2020, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved a new medicine called Sarclisa, in combination with pomalidomide and dexamethasone, for the treatment of adult patients with multiple myeloma who have received at least two prior therapies including lenalidomide and a proteasum inhibitor. Before moving to further information, if you learn something or if you find information provided in this video as helpful, please motivate us by subscribing, liking and sharing this video. Sarclisa containing Azatuximab is administered through intravenous infusion. And it is a CD38 directed cytolytic antibody that works by helping certain cells in the immune system attack multiple myeloma cancer cells. The FDA granted approval of Sarclisa to Sanofi Aventis. And it has received orphan drug designation, which provides incentives to assist and encourage the development of drugs for rare diseases. Sarclisa can cause serious side effects, which include Decrease in blood components such as neutropenia, anemia, lymphopenia, and thrombocytopenia. Infusion-related reactions Infections such as pneumonia and upper respiratory tract infection. Diarrhea. Higher incidences of second primary malignancies were also observed in a controlled clinical trial. And, Sarclisa may cause harm to a developing fetus of a pregnant woman. Thank you for watching this video. If you still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for more such videos. If you have any comments or questions, please write in comments section. Please share this video with your friends and do not forget to hit the like button.